I am filling my humongous pot with some water and since the birds are so big usually I can put them in this big pot so I got the next biggest pot over here and uh, I'm putting them water in it so when I get through gutting them and, and separating the liver and the heart and stuff I can put them in here because it's really cold water we got well water and it's really cold and the bucket I had from out there we put them in a clean five gallon bucket out there wash it out and clean it and have cold water in there so I'll start these and he'll finish the rest by the time he gets in here I'll have these all cleaned up and ready so okay that's it for right now alright we're recording alright I have had to dig out a third pot I usually don't have to have one. <laughs> These things are so big, they have filled my pots up. They, uh, they, they were, they should have been killed a little while ago. But I attacked the neck first, neck area. And since I'm record, you're recording me, I'm probably going to make a mess of things. But <laughs> say it ain't I'll, so. I'll try to be a, I'll try to be a star for you. <laughs> <laughs> the others have been done already. Um, so we're just showing the processing. Basically what you're doing now is she's getting the, the crop ready to be pulled out. Um, then you're going to cut the cut the butt, basically Oops. the butt area. A little full of it. <laughs> Cutting the butt area to uh, to get all the guts out. And uh, the only thing we really eat from the, from the uh, inside is... Uh, the uh, the liver and everything else either goes to a maggot bucket. Our dogs are like yeah I'm not the liver and the so heart. I like the heart. Yeah the heart. He My doesn't wife like likes the heart. heart. Like heart's, the heart. heart's all right. I like the liver. Um, gizzard is uh, I don't even know what you say. My dogs don't even like gizzards. No, we don't cook them. <laughs> I try to give the dogs a gizzard and they now, now admittedly they have already eaten heads and feet. You get a good shot of your arm there. Thank you. <laughs> Admittedly, they've already eaten. Uh, they've already eaten, um, you know, legs and feet, and so it's not exact. Or heads and feet, and so it's not exactly like they're, you know, starving when we throw them the gizzard out. But they basically turn their nose up and they're like, "Yeah, what do you gonna, what do you think we're gonna do with that?" Yeah, I don't pluck the feathers. I cut them off. Yeah. And particularly with meat birds, because they are such a different animal, uh, you see I didn't get the joint on that one. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they, some of them will break when you cut the head off. They will be flopping, and they uh, break their wing, and so I just, we don't bother with it. It's not enough meat to get too yeah. excited about, <laughs> especially not when you eat that one that big. Um, and by the way, this is... This is the same thing we do with our older birds, our, our ones that are done laying, um, and or, or and or a rooster who we're getting ri getting rid of. Um, these are much easier to skin than, than an old hen or a rooster. Um, so what took what took literally a minute to, a minute two minutes to skin on one of these um, with an old rooster, I have taken. I've taken pretty close to an hour to skin them. I'm not sure it's really worth it. No. <laughs> so, any any ones that are that tough, it was a it was a uh, rooster, my brother's, and uh, I got a really good picture of your elbow. Let me, well, let me slip around the other side yeah, and see what I'm you can right do. <laughs> let me slip around. Well, you told me to be on that side. I I sorry. I I I I I I I I'm the I bird. I I I I I I. Um, basically, just clean everything, get it kind of cut where you can get a hold of it, and then uh, I reach my hand in there and just um, pull the guts all out, and then we get the liver out. And, and I'm getting it ready for that. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes she's a little more squeamish on that than I am. <laughs> well, need her. But, are you, what are you saying about me? <laughs> <laughs> Try not to. Now you're gonna. Make, I'm probably gonna end up cutting the part I'm not supposed to cut because I'm making fun of you. Yeah, you you want to try to avoid. Now these guys have not eaten since last night, so they don't have a lot of food in the gut, um, and that's one of the reasons you you really want to make sure you don't let them eat 
Um, that way you don't have you have much less likelihood of of ending up with uh, nasty stuff. chicken poop in the in the gut. Um, in the cavity, um, you know these are for our own consumption. USDA would have a fit, but they're for personal consumption, so they don't really have much to say. We're actually cleaner than my grandma and grandpa. Both my grandparents, you know, raised chickens and and killed chickens. We're way neater than they ever were, and cleaner than they ever were with it. So you know, the USDA is kind of one of those things that. It's, sometimes they're really good and you you love what they're doing and other times you're like what the heck are y'all thinking what are so, you thinking dude yeah this is so fat so, on the inside yeah God, they, leave they me put fat. Get fat yeah i know <laughs> i right. know they put a lot of fat on the inside uh, you know years ago we got some red rangers and uh we thought we thought that the uh, we also got some regular layers with it, and we had a couple that we thought were the uh, the layers, and they turned out to be Red Rangers. Um, but when we cut those things open, they had literally their 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 insides were just totally fat because we had tried to feed them as if they were a layer, <laughs> and it didn't work out very well. They, I don't know if they even laid in that many eggs, but uh, yeah, we we like the Cornish Cross. We've raised the we've raised the Red Rangers before. We haven't really tried any others, um, but you know this is the 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 layers the uh, it's the heart the heart and the liver. The liver. Yeah, we have a tradition on Killing Day. We have fried liver and usually scrambled eggs. Um, although sometimes it's just the fried liver. Depends on what's going on during what the day. What time of day it is usually. Time of day, what's going on. So uh, usually we always kill in the morning. So, but. Uh, it's good for breakfast. It is. It's, it I mean, is. He's got to go out to work, so. I got to go to work, so we, have, we haven't better. actually eaten breakfast yet. <laughs> and it is, I'm not even sure what time it is. Probably about 8, maybe. You might be right. All right. Um, Got the little and, green thing off. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that that is the bile. You do not want to get that cut and get it off on any of your stuff. Um, and all these will end up. This will end up in our maggot buckets. Um, and the maggots don't care about the bile. <laughs> so, all right. She's got it pretty well cleaned up. And generally speaking, we put them up um, whole. And although sometimes. I used it's to kind cut of, them. It, it, well, sometimes we cut them, sometimes we put them up whole. It kind of varies. Um, but this this batch, this group here, we've just put them all up whole and then cut them up whenever she got ready to Yeah, to it's been do easier them. to do this time. So, uh, but this, this whole batch, this whole group of uh, birds we've done that with. So, they've next year extra if we can get... fat everywhere. <laughs> yeah. If we can get our hands on some more of these at this kind of price next year, we'll do it again. If not, yeah. we'll bite the bullet maybe and buy, buy ten. <laughs> but it did work out real good raising them with the other chicks because the other chick kind of crowded around them and stayed warm. Yeah. So it worked really good for that. Yeah, we've we've, we've usually raised our layers and our and our meat birds together just because it's easy. Um, this Let's year, this year we had a little cold weather after we put them out, and the littlest ones would would kind of cuddle up with the with the meat birds. <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. We'll wash yep. them out, and, and if you don't the kill water. these things in in a timely fashion, you literally they, they will they will they're literally kill their huge. Yeah, they they will they will. I have one and bigger we, than we this. Kinda, yeah, we kind of sort of did this on purpose but not exactly we didn't mean to leave quite as many as we did so uh, all right that's it this will be attached to something or it'll be set up on its own and uh, if you like it I'd ask you to subscribe thanks you for have watching a good day.